doubling up on a couple of things here. See on the back here, they've only got this one quarter inch plywood here. And because people are going to be climbing on the back and getting in and the boat or standing here or fishing or something like that, we're doubling this up. So we cut another piece here that fits right here on the back of the boat. And we're going to put that in uh, tomorrow, probably. And on the front also, we're doubling it up. We're also at some point going to put that type cover on the front of this hole and that hole there and that's it that's about all the covering we're going to do for these but we also are going to double up on this one here too because this one uh is well they only got little bamboo pieces un under here holding it up number one and then we got this little guy here that is only quarter, quarter inch and somebody steps here because there's a big it goes way back in and there, if somebody steps here this is going to snap off here so i cut another piece here to add there so now it's double now it's half inch and once it gets epoxy and stuff it should be pretty strong so I'm gonna have to hold up hopefully a fat guy <laughs> even me a semi pretty fat guy <laughs> so uh, anyway yeah we got this guy all cut and laid out see it was in a nice little V like that and we slide it right in got it all measured out and precision cut like that we got the little pink that won't be pink much longer <laughs> we got the whole crew back now what we've done we basically made a prefab boat we cut all the pieces for all this cross bracing all the pieces for all of the supports and everything and then we label them so like this one here i don't know if you can read that but that's right side top up. and there's another one that's labeled that over here, this is this this hole is at this first hole here. So you can see all the three holes. This hole is A. The far outer hole is B, and the C, uh, the center hole is C. So we've got hole A, B, and C. So when we mark these parts, they're they're 1A, 2A, 3A. They're for this hole. They're 1A or 1B, 2B, 3B like that for that hole. And for this hole, they're of course 1C. 2c 3c we park mark which side goes up see like this one here is 3a and this side goes up so it goes like that on the side see right there and this is marked 3a right there if you can see it 3a so everything is marked here these are marked these top buttons are marked everything is marked so it's basically prefab so we're in the middle of uh let me get the light meter right getting all these epoxy and nailed on and we're gonna finish this because I got to get down there and do my epoxy job while they're doing that this is our epoxy over here and be sure to get some of these blades like this uh, if you're going to epoxy a boat because otherwise you're gonna try to use bamboo and it'll take all day and it won't make this nice smooth long piece so anyway we will they're trying to figure out which piece goes there but it's marked and it's there and my wife's working on the wrong one but that's what wives are for <laughs> so we will be back with more epoxying and nailing all of the cross bracing in bye for now all right everybody we are we got all these center pieces in we're not doing this front piece because this is going to be last uh, in any place where the cross beams go anywhere where the cross beam goes so like from this section this rib back we don't uh, touch just yet and from this rib forward we don't touch but the center uh, hull we're reinforcing all of it right now and you can see we got it braced so it's pushing the wood against the side so it's closed and not gapped because some of this wood is a little bit bowed and you can't get it or, or it's straight and the side is obviously curved it's a boat so it's curved so we brace these across here we brace them against the bottom up to here again from the bottom uh, rail up to here and push them in but after you nail them they stay pretty good but still we're just doing this until the epoxy dries just to play it safe we got the top uh, linear support in there's gonna be one more of these all the full length from well from around in here all the way to the back around in here on top of this one to double up and the same of course on this side too 
So we are going to go get a bite to eat. We used all our epoxy pretty much. What we did, we took what little round we had, about a handful of epoxy, and we mixed it with some lacquer thinner in one of those epoxy buckets, and we're letting it kind of dissolve, and it'll become like an epoxy paint. And then we're going to paint it on the tops of this, uh, these two by fours that we just put down, and these ones here too. These ones here, we're going to kind of paint it to epoxy seal that with a thin, uh, it'll absorb it into the grain. So that's really good. And that's what we do too, ultimately, to the sides and everywhere. You thin it down with some lacquer thinner, only lacquer thinner, not any other kind of thinner. Uh, and then we, uh, uh, you know, smear it on a very thin uh, coating. Uh, obviously, uh, on a vertical surface, it's going to try to run down. I haven't used it before, so that's an assumption. But anyway, we're going to get some lunch, and we'll be back with more. Trimaran Building from My Paradise on Italian Island. Bye for now. What we're doing here is we're reinforcing the front of this. It was only a quarter inch, but since this is a family boat and friends boat, people are going to be standing up here. And they're going to be getting in from the front. They're not going to get in from the back because the back will be in the deeper water where the propellers have the depth to not hit the bottom. So the front will be where people will get on. The stairs back here and over there, that's when you're in the deep ocean. Snorkeling, spearfishing, whatever you're doing, swimming, having fun, whatever. But that's where the ocean's deep and the whole thing's floating. So that's when you'll get in back there in the deep ocean. This front end is where you'll get in, in the shallow or on the shoreline. So anyway, we added another quarter inch piece here. So this will be half inch, half inch thick here. And we also added another quarter inch piece on top of that. I took part of the old engine cover that was cracked and just kind of salvaged that wood and cut that out. That's why it's pink on the top. So anyway, we got that one done. We're gonna do the same thing at the rear because people will be standing there jumping off the boat. And the quarter inch here was flimsy and it, it would have cracked. You know, you know, there's just no way people playing and you know, carefree is not gonna climb on things and jump on things and you, you know, it's a party to them. Yeah, you know, not their boat, so I gotta it's my boat, so I've got to make sure that things are gonna hold up when everybody uh is gonna have a party on it. So I'm going to go sand the back before we do that one because we're going to work on that. It looks like rain today. It was forecasting 90% 90 chance at noon and then they changed it. So um, now we're going to, I've got to sand this down to get the epoxy a good grip. And then we'll put this, add this. So, so this will be a half inch thick plywood at that point. And so will those up there. So that will be a lot uh, sturdier. Again making these boats uh, sturdy is kind of what we're doing uh, when we we're out there having fun and stuff we don't want to be stuff cracking and people's legs going through the, <laughs> the top of the boat and cutting their cells and any nonsense like that so we are doing our insurance or our uh, what they call that I'm trying to think of the word due diligence there we go due diligence that's what we're doing here due diligence making sure everything is going to be ship shaped so i got to go get the sander over here i gotta sand that and then we'll be back with more from my paradise on italian island we're beefing her up bye for now okay we're working on the center hole now hole c as we call it because we labeled this one a and the other one b so when we made all of our parts we label them one a one b i mean one a two a three a's and labeled um, on the side so we couldn't get uh pieces of wood mixed up because it's all prefab cut everything is cut uh and labeled so right now we're i made them really tight so they could snap in but when you put epoxy on them, you don't really want them that tight. You want some room for a little bit of epoxy between the wood and whatever it's adhering to, the side of the boat. And so we have to trim them, just trim them just a hair on each on the ends to make them a little bit loose. But that's when they uh, are ready to clamp them and nail them in. We're using these C clamps here to uh, clamp them against the side while they nail.
and also if there's any bow that's not conforming to the shape of the the hole then the secret clamp brings it in and locks it in good so it's good and tight good and tight that's german i learned that that's the only german i know good and tight that's called good and tight so <laughs> wants to know if i speak german well i do <laughs> So anyway, we are, well actually what we're doing now, we're putting in the 2x4 base down here, so that it's not focused, let me see if I can get it to focus, there we go, hammering it, I need, they're kind of knocking it down, so that, because they got a nail from the bottom of the boat up through these, so, uh, Celso, I mean Sergio, over there, stands on top, well, it also gets under the boat and nails up through the bottom to them in, into those boards. And when they do, then the epoxy will come oozing out of the, all the cracks and stuff, all the lines between the, the And then we sc scrape that off and use it for the next, um, all the excess. We use it for all these, so everything works out. We never waste epoxy. So we put way too much epoxy on everything, and then when you nail it, it oozes out, like I said, scrape it off, put it back on the epoxy board, and use it on the next thing. So you're sure of getting 100% uh, coverage, because you want 100% coverage in anything you epoxy. If you're not getting 100%, don't waste your time epoxying it. Well, go ahead and waste your time. <laughs> epoxy is, some epoxy is better than none, but nonetheless, you want a lot. You want it 100% contact surface uh, epoxy is really tough really 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 tough so it's great to uh, use it in assembling anything so after this one then we'll do this guy here so he's next so we will be back with more building trimarans from my paradise on Thailand island we got a strong back end we got a strong front end we're strengthening all the side beefing them up so we are looking good today and we'll be back with more from my paradise on Batanian Island. Bye for now. You may wonder why this guy is riding in the boat when we're not in the water. Well, he's actually not riding in it. Let me brighten up the bottom here. He's standing on a big sledgehammer and holding down these 2 by 4s And when my finger gets in the light, it darkens. So uh, he's holding those down and hammering them and making them all snug and tight. While... No. So so over there. Oh. Got a, they started sliding down because this bow is goes up like that, as you see. The bows of these uh, three cuts go up. Uh, his boat, as you saw on the squid fishing one, his front end goes way up like that. It's really jacked up high. But, so, as a result, these things slide down. These are sliding down as he stands on them because the epoxy is acting like a lube, like a lubricant. Yeah, and he tell him these marks here, honey? I tell him these marks is where this should go. Mm -hmm. You yeah. see these marks? When they nailed it, it runs. Yeah, it slides. Run. Yeah, it slides. That slides, yeah. 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 Can you put a small nail in here, honey? Uh, honey, can I ask them, they put a small nail in here and a small nail in, in there? And maybe just, just hold it so it don't slide? Because, yeah, when, as he nails, the, these things try to slide down. And like I said, as I put my finger in front of the light meter, by the area where the camera reads light, it gets dark. So we're going to put a little stopper, stopper nail there and a little stopper nail on this side. So they don't slide while he's underneath uh, hammering the big nails in the bottom into these two blue by fours. And we got the drain hole right here. You see that drain hole? That's so when water gets in, in the bow, it drains down here and all the way to the drain hole in the back. That's a, th that's a theory because we got the 
well you can't see it but where these things yeah. are and these have got drain holes too see they got two one on this side and one on this side this goes back to the drain plug in the back of the boat so we're going to do these next these ones on the bottom bottom all these the top notch this center notch is for the uh you know for the propeller shaft tube uh, and the two outer notches on the bottom side is for the water to drain out and in, out the drain hole in the back if it's on land of course so i think is that working okay kuya nga di na mudagan kuya wala na no more oh okay okay so we got it we fixed it crises solved so we and you know, now these guys and I'll show you so so down here nailing We got the chines there too, see, so he's working his way around the chines. So if you try to go through a chine, you're going to have a heck of a time because there's a ton of epoxy there. So this is upside down nailing, which we have to do. And then at the end, we'll flip this thing over and super epoxy the bottom and everything. We're going to super epoxy the sides probably, definitely on this these boats because they're bare wood. He's already epoxied the sides and everywhere on this boat but we may double do it I'm, i don't know see how much trouble it is to sand and that kind of stuff to get down to where the epoxy would would soak into the uh into the wood because if epoxy sticks to the paint the paint doesn't stick to the wood that great i mean it sticks to it good but if you're going to peel, if you epoxy a piece of wood on here onto this paint and then you grabbed it and ripped it off after it dried, it would pull all the paint off, but it wouldn't pull any of the wood off. Now, if you epoxy it to bare wood and let it dry and pull it off, it would rip a big hole in that wood because it penetrates into the wood. So it's really good on bare wood and it's however good the paint is adhered to the wood on uh, painted sur surface so that's a little epoxy note for everybody it does stick to paint but it just can't penetrate into there and kind of like a tree roots kind of penetrate and get those roots into the wood and that's why I sand it try to sand it so that the paint is thin in most areas and some of the woods exposed so it can get some of its uh, claws or whatever roots into the uh, into the wood. So we are hammering, and Sergio is standing, and we'll be back with more from my paradise on the Italian island. Bye for now. An update to the part where we're nailing through the hull and into our two by four uh, cross beam support area here this is like a boxed in area that is uh s super strong i hope <laughs> so when this pole tries to go up on a wave and this all ain't on the wave they still you know behave the same way and this hole can lift this hole whatever height it needs to to you know they roll through the, the waves and likewise there so this whole area around these uh cross beams is all super reinforced but we doubled this hole here so we laid uh we put epoxy down and then we put another three eighths piece of plywood down so now when he hammers through the hole he has to hammer through epoxy Epoxy's so damn hard, it'll bend those bronze nails. So he's bending a lot of the nails trying to get through there. So, little note, normally when you nail epoxy things, you nail while the epoxy's wet. So that's a tip. Don't If, you, if you're going to nail, don't wait until the epoxy dries. You can nail it while it's wet. Nail it while it's wet. And also that, that somehow it pulls the wood in tight against whatever you're nailing against. It pulls it in tight. Whenever you nail, it has this phenomenon of pulling everything in tight so another advantage to nailing when it's the epoxy is wet so we will be back with more nailing into our cross beam supports bye for now all right as you can hear the nailing we're nailing these two by fours in the bottom here around the the prop shaft this is where the prop goes through this tube right here and then it comes out the bottom 
for some reason the pots are really into the shafts way down it comes way out here so it seemed like that shaft would be kind of flopping and spinning around i don't think that's a good idea but everybody does it for some reason also you're going to be uh, sucking uh, air from the top pulling it down into the prop and uh, that's what that's called <coughs> Ventilation, ventilation. You'll get uh, ventilation, and your pop will be spinning in bubbles, basically, and not pushing you forward. So on these holes, this hole back here is a cavitation plate or a ventilation plate, because the prop will be under there, and water doesn't can't come from the top down. It's all sealed off, basically, by the bottom of the boat, so it's has to spin in water but if you've ever seen water go down a drain how it spins around I'll use my right hand how it spins around and goes down well when your propeller spins it'll start one of those tornadoes those spinning and you'll suck air down into your prop and you're spinning through bubbles and that doesn't work in a boat <laughs> at all you don't go fast you go uh, slow you got no thrust because you're spinning your prop basically in, you know, 50% air, 80% air, or 30% air, whatever it is. So, anyway, my idea would be to, and this is not, I mean, I didn't design this boat, obviously, but this would have come out further down to back in here somewhere, and then come up, and the prop would have came out down there underneath that. But I don't design boats, do. They do. And, I mean... I take that back. I designed these boats, <laughs> and we'll see. We'll see how well they do. And uh, again, I got to put a new engine in this one. Uh, and diesels are taller, so the prop shaft is going to be angled down more. And we'll see what we do. We're going to have to change that whole set set up there. And I'm going to try to do it my way and see how well that works. So we have got the bottom end, and now we're going to these little two by fours here. All that in. See that bright red, that pink. That really lights up the camera with pink. But four, two by four is one, two, three, four, and they're notched here for the prop shaft. And again, all this is going to be removed or changed the uh, angle when I get a diesel, because diesels, my diesel is going to sit here, but it's output shaft is higher up. So again, the angle change changes going into the prop shaft. So now we're going to start doing the side cross beam supports and we'll be back with more because I can get my hand with that and we'll be back with more from my paradise on Italian Island. Bye.